y'all. Hello, hello, hello. It's Julia Keeps It Real. And today we are going to finish the series, How to Do It All. Uh, I was going to be five parts, but I was able to kind of merge them. And I'll kind of talk about the mindset and consistency in this live to kind of merge it all together. Um, as always, if you find value in my videos, share them. I would love to hear back from you, feedback. Those of you that have um, reached out to me, it really fills my cup right back. Um, so I appreciate that. The next thing I want to say is some people might be thinking, of course she can do it all. She doesn't have any kids, right? Um, I have to say this. No, I do not have children of my own, at least. I feel like I have 1,200 children and then 600 students next year. Um, but I know there are women in my life, in this industry, in business, or just in general, they're just mamas, they're workers, like they do it all. And they have two kids, three kids, five kids. So if they can do it all, I can do it all, right? And if they can do it all, mama, you can do it all too. So just know that, I know that it's a little difficult if you're a mom with children, but you can still take these advice and these tips and apply them because when I have children, I will be doing the same things, the same schedules, the same systems, the same routines and habits. Of course, adjusting them how I need to, but that's how things are going to go, okay? Because I'm still going to be able to do it all. All right, so tip of the day, no dessert before you eat or until you eat is might, might have been what I put on there. And you guys, um, what do we know about dessert? It's amazing. It's delicious, right? It's sweet. It's satisfying. Sometimes we want to have the sweet and the good stuff before we eat maybe the food that maybe we don't want or just the protein or whatever, right? The savory sweetness, we probably want that. But we also know that if we have sweets first or often, it can ruin our appetite, right? We know that, yes? Drop a one below if we all understand that. We know that part so far. Y'all say, hey, if you're here. So when I say no dessert before you eat, I'm talking about no fun, no sweet, nothing great. All those fun things you want to do, you can't do that until you eat. And But what I mean by eat is work, okay? Now, you define work. And I'm not talking about like, I checked my email so I can go do these things now. Like, I'm talking like you worked on a project. You did those hard things first. I'm talking about you put in work and then you can eat. You don't get to enjoy the fruits of your labor from yesterday, okay? Because that was yesterday's fruits and labor. You now have to put in work now and put back before you get, right? You got to do something good. You got to keep on going before you can actually take and enjoy something sweet. If you continue to take from yesterday's fruit and labor, then you're not going to have that appetite and you're not going to have anything left. You're not gonna have any fruit left. And I don't know about you, but I want fruit. I want dessert. I want sweet. But I also don't wanna lose my appetite for work because I know I gotta put in work, okay? So the first thing that I wanna share on how to do this, right? How do I do this? You guys, I'm not joking. I wish I could, but I literally wake up almost every single day with this mentality. When you have this mindset, no dessert before eat, no dessert before I eat. I got to do the hard things first. You will accomplish so much more in your life. This is how I'm able to do it all. Okay. So besides the days where I'm just like, I throw in the towel because I have filled up other people's cups so much. I've worked so hard. I've done other things for myself. And I'm just like, I'm not doing anything hard today. <laughs> I need to like self-care okay so i do have days like that but i don't even care like today it is saturday and i woke up at 6 30 because yesterday you guys y'all were off the chain and i was not prepared i have systems and things like that but i also want to have conversations with people so i wasn't prepared for all the messages uh, and stuff coming from instagram and facebook and whatever even text messages about the opportunity about the products and should you order a collection versus um sign up so that was a lot. And that took a couple of hours of my day I wasn't planning for. So I was like, okay, I'm going to finish doing some of these things that I got to get done today. And the rest, I'm going to wake up early and knock it out. The early bird gets the worm is so true, you guys. By 930 today, I have I accomplished all of my must do things, all of my hard things, all of my things that I put off. And y'all, it's what? Like 1052. So the rest of my day is anything left is the dessert. It's sweet right? I get to enjoy my rest of my day, okay? And what I mean by doing the hard things first, we're going to go into detail, like I said. 
sometimes it's not the hard things. Sometimes it's the things that you put off. So you have a to-do list and you know you got to get that done. You're like, okay, yeah, I need to follow with people. But like, oh, I'll, I'll do that tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I need to start that project. Oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Oh, yeah, I need to read that book for my grad school class. Oh, I'll do it tomorrow. All right? Tomorrow. 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 And you look and a month has gone by and you still haven't followed up with that customer. A month has gone by and you still haven't worked on that project. A month has gone by and you still are trying to tackle that same goal because you didn't take the time to do the hard things first or to do the things that you want to put off first. Y'all, I had to call my home warranty company the other day and we all know calling like for service can take an hour of your time. I don't want to do it. I did not want to do it. But I put that on my non-negotiable list for that day. And I did it first thing after I did my morning routines. Okay. And while I was doing that hard thing, annoying thing, thing that I'm putting off, I was able to do other things so I can get the things that I need to done. So doing the hard things first are things that you want to put off. Okay. I suggest every day um, you have a list of things that are your non-negotiables. Drop below non-negotiables for me. Okay. No more than five. No more than five, because if you have too many non-negotiables, non-negotiable non means I don't care, hell and high water, I'm getting these things done today, right? I could be having the cruddiest day ever, but I'm still going to get these things done today. So if you have more than five, then you're kind of pushing it, okay? So I like to keep it to about three, two to four. I try to keep it right there, okay? Every day. I have my non-negotiable. It could be as simple as I got to call this dang home warranty company to get my lights fixed outside, <laughs> Okay, and it could be as big as I need to follow up with 30 people. I need like today my non-negotiable was I need to package 20 gifts for my customers. That was a non-negotiable because I want to be able to have it shipped and out the door for them, right? Doesn't matter. Whatever it is, business, life, find your non-negotiable things and get those things done first. You will find that you are more successful. Your mind, you feel good because you've accomplished these things. And on top of that, you're able to, after you eat, you're able to enjoy the dessert and enjoy the fruits of your labor. But you're not going to get any fruit if you're not putting in that work, okay? All right, procrastination is powerful. <laughs> um, at times, I will say that. There's times where I procrastinate things and I can get things done, like, because I'm just like, my mind is like, I got to get this done now. So that's true. But at the same time, you know there's things that you need to do in life. And you know that if you keep putting it off and putting it off and putting it off, that's not really effective either. And if you are here watching this because you want to be able to do it all, you can't procrastinate on everything because then you won't be able to do it all. Does that make sense? All right. Drop a flame below if this is adding value to you and you're finding this helpful. Um, the next thing I'm going to say with the non-negotiables is you can do this with your team. I don't care if you have a small team in business. I don't care if you're a corporate world business. I don't care if you're an administrator. I don't care if you're a teacher, team department head, grade level chair, whatever. You can do this as a team with people and say, y'all, we have all these things that we got to get done. Okay, but we're going to do the hard things first. We're going to do the things that we don't want to do first. We're going to do the things that, we're gonna, that we want to put off. I'm thinking about like going back to school. I have a July to-do list. Okay. I just listed everything down that I got to get done in July. Not in any order. Just like, okay, I got to get that done in July when I get back to work. But when I get back my first day, I'm going to prioritize that. And what do you think I'm going to put first? The hard things. The things I, I will put off until the first day of school if I don't get it done first. And you guys, I'm going to feel so good and getting done with those other things that aren't hard or those things that are maybe fun to do are going to take me like no time because I got those hard things done first. So as a team, maybe on Monday, you say to your team, I want everybody to think of the one hard thing or the one thing that you put off and you've been putting off that you're going to get done first thing in the morning after you do your typical morning like routines, I was going to say procedures, how do you do your typical morning routines? We're all going to come in this chat. We're all going to come in this group, whatever, and we're going to say, I did my hard thing. Okay? Try that. Oh my gosh, you'd be so surprised how amazing it is. I literally do this every day, and um, I just think that's the key. It really is. All right, so next, in finale, because I'm going to keep this one short, how do you do it all? Okay? I've talked to you about it. This, this is the key. Wake up every day, do the hard things first, have a non-negotiable list, right? And don't uh, have your dessert until you eat. Put in that work first. And then be consistent. You can't just do this one day, do it on Monday, and then do it a week later. Like, this is day in, day out, okay? This is day in and day out. Of course, you're allowed to 
take a break, right? But that, that consistency is truly, truly important. Your mindset. If you have this mentality, no dessert before you eat, it's a game changer. The mindset of being able to do all the things is a game changer, okay? Systems, systems in place and systems that work. Organization, I went live about this one the other day. Organize your space, organize your thoughts, organize your uh, systems, okay? Routines are super important. I will probably do a live at some point, not anytime, like right now, of my morning routines and how that helps me be successful. And then habits. Fall in love with the habit. You don't have to love the habit itself, but fall in love with what the habit provides for you and the results that you get. All right, you guys, if you find this helpful, please share. If you watch any of them, um, if you watch this one, go back and watch the other ones if you miss them. And hopefully I could say my ending correct this time. As always, choose love. Love doesn't care about your weight, your sex, your age. It doesn't matter if you're white, black, brown, or beige. Choose love. Love on everybody. I love you. See you next time. Bye.